Another day, another story. Colorectal or colon cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths when numbers for men and women are combined. It's expected to cause about 52,550 deaths during 2023. That is why, this awareness I am going to share with you guys is very important. What is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer starts in the colon or the rectum. These cancers can also be called colon cancer or rectal cancer, depending on where they start. If it starts in the rectum, it may be called rectal cancer. Regardless of where they start, however, these cancers share a lot in common, which is why they're together known as colorectal cancer. Cancer starts when cells in the body start to grow out of control. To understand colorectal cancer, it helps to know about the normal structure and function of the colon and rectum. The colon and rectum make up the large intestine, or large bowel, which is part of the digestive system, also called the gastrointestinal. The first section is called the ascending colon. It starts with a pouch called the cecum, where undigested food comes in from the small intestine. It continues upward on the right side of the abdomen. The second section is called the transverse colon. It goes across the body from the right to the left side. The third section is called the descending colon, because it descends, travels down, on the left side. The fourth section is called the sigmoid colon because of its S shape. The sigmoid colon joins the rectum, which then connects to the anus. The ascending and transverse sections together are called the proximal colon. The descending and sigmoid colon are called the distal colon. How does colorectal cancer spreads? If cancer forms in a polyp, it can grow into the wall of the colon or rectum over time. The wall of the colon and rectum is made up of many layers. Colorectal cancer starts in the innermost layer, the mucosa, and can grow outward through some or all of the other layers. When cancer cells are in the wall, they can then grow into blood vessels or lymph vessels, tiny channels that carry away waste and fluid. From there, they can travel to nearby lymph nodes or to distant parts of the body. Colon cancer, when discovered early is treatable. Signs and symptoms of the colon cancer tend not to be specific. When cancer is detected at early stages, it may not have even caused symptoms. Symptoms can vary accordingly to the specific location within the colon where the tumor is located. Bleeding in the stool. Dark colored stool. Change in the stool consistency. Constipation. Diarrhea. Narrow stools. Tests that examines the colon and rectal are used to detect and diagnose it. Physical examination. Digital colon examination. Fecal occult blood test. Examination by barium enema. Sigmoidoscopy. Colonoscopy. Biopsy. Risk factors to consider. Your risk of getting colorectal cancer increases as you get older. Other risk factors include having inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. A personal or family history of colorectal cancer or colorectal polyps. A genetic syndrome such as familial adenomatous polyposis. Lifestyle factors that may contribute to an increased risk of colorectal cancer include lack of regular physical activity, a diet low in fruit and vegetables, a low fiber and high fat diet, or a diet high in processed meats, overweight and obesity, alcohol consumption, tobacco use. Somehow there are lifestyle changes to reduce your risk of colon cancer. You can take steps to reduce your risk of colon cancer by making changes in your everyday life. First of is, eat a variety of fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Fruits, vegetables and whole grains contain vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants, which may play a role in cancer prevention. 
Choose a variety of fruits and vegetables so that you get an array of vitamins and nutrients. Drink alcohol in moderation, if at all. If you choose to drink alcohol, limit the amount of alcohol you drink to no more than one drink a day for women and two for men. Stop smoking. Talk to your doctor about ways to quit that may work for you. Exercise most days of the week. Try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise on most days. If you've been inactive, start slowly and build up gradually to 30 minutes. Also, talk to your doctor before starting any exercise program. Maintain a healthy weight. If you are at a healthy weight, work to maintain your weight by combining a healthy diet with daily exercise. If you need to lose weight, ask your doctor about healthy ways to achieve your goal. Treatment for colon cancer usually involves surgery to remove the cancer. Other treatments, such as radiation therapy and chemotherapy, might also be recommended. Surgery for early stage colon cancer. Removing polyps during a colonoscopy, polypectomy. Removing polyps during a colonoscopy, polypectomy. If your cancer is small, localized, completely contained within a polyp and in a very early stage, your doctor may be able to remove it completely during a colonoscopy. If your cancer is small, localized, completely contained within a polyp and in a very early stage, your doctor may be able to remove it completely during a colonoscopy. Endoscopic mucosal resection. Larger polyps might be removed during colonoscopy using special tools to remove the polyp. And a small amount of the inner lining of the colon in a procedure called an endoscopic mucosal resection. Minimally invasive surgery, laparoscopic surgery. Polyps that can't be removed during a colonoscopy may be removed using laparoscopic surgery. Surgery for more advanced colon cancer. Partial colectomy. During this procedure, the surgeon removes the part of your colon that contains the cancer. Surgery for advanced colon cancer. Chemotherapy. Radiation therapy. Targeted drug therapy. Immunotherapy. If you found this video helpful, please do subscribe, click the notification bell and don't forget to like, share and comment.